Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Tuesday, June 7th, 2022, and I thought I'd just do a quick little video. Get away from the measuring a little bit. Um, I realized that when I made that last video uh, the other day, I forgot that I had not actually uh, shown you guys the head as it came back from the machinist. So I thought, uh, you know, we should go ahead and review that and you can see my thoughts on that. And that's all this video is really about. Just going to share my thoughts on the on what the machinist did. There are going to be some great videos that are coming. So, you know, I hope you click on the, the subscribe button and the little bell and all that kind of stuff and, and follow because it's going to get fun. But until then, let's just go ahead and, and uh, I'll show you uh, how the head started out. Right, well, I'll pick up some video footage from uh, previously when I dismantled everything, and you can see the head, and then we'll make a quick little comparison, and you tell me what you guys think. All right, here we go. All right, <clears throat> so all the valves are out of this first head, the passenger side, the one that was date stamped 1986, the one they replaced. I mean, look, look at this, you know, when I get a close inspection, I mean, this is a divot. I mean, like a chunk of metal gone. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, <laughs> I bet you this is not even within tolerances. I would say that this is not a great seal. You see the color discoloration? Um, I, you know, all of this is all fine, all, you know, all up in that area. Right, all of that looks pretty good. This is a little bad. Right, there's, can probably be clean. But this, if you, if you notice, I mean, can you see that? It's, um, it's metal missing. I, I don't know. Is this the worst? Look at this. I might find out this is putty and all, who knows. By the time it's all over, this is a big chunk. Gone. It's not there. The metal's not there. Right? See that? I don't think this is this head's worth 10 cents. Okay, so I think that, you guys, is the head broken down. So that was then. And this is now. So that's the way the head came back. And you already know I don't like this, you know, from the other video. I already talked about this. But, uh, you know, otherwise, you can see it looks pretty darn good, right? I mean, everything looks great. Even even all this up in here was taken care of. Right? So I, I, I think that that part of it looks really great, right? So it looks great, but you know, there is this gash, right? You see that thing? Look at it. You can see it goes right up to where the cylinder is, right? And then watch. Picks up right there. Now on this side here, I can't really catch it with a fingernail. But this side, I can. Let me back this up just a bit. You know, and so, and same thing, like whatever the heck that is. I think that's just a little bit of splatter. But, you know, you did all that work, so, why, you know, why not finish up those little holes like that? I mean, it's not necessary, like he says. But I want you guys to see this finish, you know, and, and uh, you know, they say, oh, he says, you know, oh, that'll, that's going to seal, you know, even this scratch, right? He says, no problem. So everyone's scared to death of these gasket areas, you know, I, I know that you should. But, you know, I know that I leave less scratches than this. That's all I'm saying. These might be uniform scratches, but I would, you know, 
almost everything I did was less. Now, let's talk about what I don't like. I think you can already start to see what I don't like. That right there, let me see if I can get in here. It's all built up and the side, it wasn't taken care of. Now this is where water goes. You see that edge? So yeah, that's where water goes, so you can't just, I mean, that's gonna create, uh, what you, like a vortex. You can see it's still dirty in there. Uh, maybe it's not dirty, it's just casting, I guess. But you see, same thing. This He welded all these up, but this, the job just wasn't finished, in my opinion. In my opinion, this job was not finished. Right? Because really the thickness of that wall goes goes way goes you know way over to the left more. That's not how that should look. Alright, and then that's not even the worst side. Look at this one, it's almost closed up. See all that buildup? Right, all that buildup should probably, I should use a Dremel or something to fix that. Let's look at it a little bit differently. All right, here's a little bit different angle here. And you can see, again, like I said, look at all the buildup. It, it's not supposed to be that built up. I was going to put a gasket on here and show you, but instead, I'm going to just show you with the other head. I think that that's a better comparison because a gasket is a gasket. But, and then, now, not only that, but when this, when this side was all resurfaced, right, I can take my fingernail and there's a lip. You can hear it. It's worse right here. And you can see I'm pulling up some little piece of aluminum. Almost. See it? So, you know, that, so like this should be lightly touched. And then again, like I told you, you see how much built up that really is? That's not how it's supposed to be. But it's not supposed to be like that. And let's look at what else he did. Uh, there's a time cert. And then I notice, what's this, JB Weld? Is that from what was there before? But it looks like you can notice that the time cert is placed after whatever this stuff is. It's hard because some of it was in the threads. I had to clean it out of the threads. Whoop, whoa. I had to clean it out of those threads. Yeah. You know, because you know I chased every single hole, right? Okay, here's another thing you can see. Let's turn this thing like this. I think that might get better lighting. You see that? That's welds inside there. That's where the weld came through. Now, this is just the EGR part, right? This is just the exhaust, so it's... The, it's not bad, and, and it's it's rounded. They're more rounded. If I can get a see how they're more rounded, but again, you know, and then how much material's been taken off, right? 
it's kind of hard to measure. I mean, obviously I can measure the distance between this surface and that surface right here, for example, maybe. You know, I, I'm happy with the work, okay? I'm happy with the work, but I'm not happy with this work. I'm, I'm not happy with the work that wasn't performed. That should have been. I mean, this is all part of it, right? And, and it, if I, if I believe that this is for water, right? So that's what's gonna cool the head. Do you really wanna restrict water flow? I don't think so. I think I need to get a Dremel now because who, who can I trust to just do anything, just do anything right or, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm a first time builder, right? First time, and these are the things that I'm noticing. This is splatter from when he welded this up. That's splatter, you know. Probably won't matter. I don't think anything, you know, it's not gonna seal right there. Uh, you know, mo most of the welds, of course, were, the welds were here, here, and all that top front, right? The whole, which, I'm not complaining, like I said, I don't have the tools. If I had the tools, would I do it? Yeah, uh, because I come from a family of welders. That's right. My dad is ASME certified, pressure vessel certified, submarines, the whole 10 yards. He was welding materials, exotic metals before they knew what exotic metals were. That's right, because it was my dad. Right? And I'm an old man. And I used to go to class with him when he used to teach at a college. My uncle, also certified welder. That's right. So, yeah, if I actually had my own Heliarch machine in here, I'd do it. Why not? But then again, I still need to do the head, and that's where the bad part was. The welding's pretty good, right? I mean, you know, you know what won't what won't, uh, it, it's just, it's gonna seal, all right? It's gonna seal, even with these little imperfections like that, it's still gonna seal. I get it, I get it, you know? But there's little, like this, like I say, there's like little lips, you know, where, because when, when they went over the top of this, it, it, you know, that machine created a little lip everywhere. It's in every one of these holes and everything. All this, there's a lip. You know? I've never done any of this kind of stuff before, but you know, people are making me do it. Remember? I couldn't even find a machinist. And then when I find one, I was so happy. Right? He was a Mercedes uh, guy. And, you know, and everything's probably just fine. But... It's, it's just not how I probably would have done it. I mean, you know, if you made a mistake when you put down your, your blade, I mean, I don't even know how this happens. Like somebody bumped the machine. Um, you know, if that happens, do you, how do you fix it? Do you have to run a TIG weld across it and then re-hit the whole thing and then probably lose another layer? You're, you know, you're probably better off just like this. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you know, that's not how I brought it, but that's how I got it. Uh, this cost me, uh, there you go. I mean, I'm, there I'm right for it, up and close, right? This is what was said to be done. Okay. And everybody knows what that head cost so far, not counting the valves, because we know the valves are little thin so all right so I, I you know I'm sure I can do some measurements and I can find all kinds of other things I don't like about it but I think for right now I, I'm just gonna not pay attention wait for my valves to get here so we can get them lapped in and start putting this darn car together because I'm getting really tired of this right I'm sure you guys are getting tired of it as well so all right guys thanks again for watching